Kelvin. Looks like our total comes out to one and a half million. Pretty lean for a business that was about to go under. You'll get yours someday, Kaito. Mark my words. <laughs> That's what they all say. Hey, miss! Mind getting this kid out of the way? Uh, uh, okay! Ah, uh, you taking his place, ape man? Then I'll just have to carve you up first! Take your dumb asses outside. Damn it! Who's this fuck? I'm her bodyguard. If you want to get hands on tonight, start with me. You heard that, boys? This fucking bastard! Take him down! Sorry. I just couldn't let them get away with what they did. No problem. Your safety is my job. <laughs> then I guess I'm in good hands, Mr. Bodyguard. <clears throat> ah, let go, damn it! Teach this little shit a lesson. Of course. Hey, I'm his guardian. You got a problem with the kid, you talk to me. And I'm gonna guess it's not talking you want. Aniki, you hear this dipshit? Oh, I've heard enough. Let's put the fear of the Aragaki brothers in him.
damn it! This ain't over yet! <laughs> yeah, kick the bricks, you dusty old scrubs! June, allow me. Oh, hey, you with me? Uh, uh, what is the deal with you? You better back the fuck off, man! Unless you want to get hurt! Let's just take his ass down already! This kid really knows how to choose him. You. You okay? They say shit like, we're decent people, just come with us, we'll even buy you some video games. Bunch of creepy old geezers, and he's their head idiot! Hey, watch your mouth! I think he's not a head idiot. That's right! You're the head idiot here! Can you two shut your pie holes? You're not making us look any smarter. First black. Now kidnap me. They're a crime you won't do? Makes me sick to think you call yourselves detectives. I ain't here for a lecture. Just give us the kid, or you're in for a world of hurt. You're not laying a hand on my client. You want him? You have to go through me. Oh, you are such a goddamn pest, you know that? Boys, exterminate this asshole! Really thought you'd get away with nabbing a kid his age. Worth a try. <gasps> Everyone be cool, and nobody gets hurt. Ha <sighs> <laughs> the classic misdirect. <laughs> <laughs> Former Omi Alliance Patriarch, 
he's as heavy as they come. See, after his clan went the way of the dinosaur, well, we figured we ought to put his talent to work. Better say your prayers. Just hearing the name Fudo the Killer in Kansai makes people piss themselves on the spot. Not to mention he's built like a brick shit house. You're just a little skid mark to him. Oh, uh, Kaito? These dickheads might actually have a point. Can you take him? In a heartbeat. So, heard you used to roll with the Tojo clan. Is that right? That was a lifetime ago. I'm just a detective on the straight and narrow now. And that brat must be your kid, huh? Well, not exactly. The name's June, you big oaf! Ha! You! Well, I may not know what brought you here, but unlike you, I don't get paid to think. I get paid to ruin you. So don't hold it against me when your son sees me rip you apart! You done posturing. Then let's do this! Here we go! Kaito, you're a beast! Well, look at you. Someone just doesn't stay down. <laughs> what can I say? The man stays true to form. Ha! You haven't seen shit from my dad yet. He was just warming up. Uh, Fudo-san? Your name's Kaito, ain't it? <laughs> yeah? You got a good kid there. My son should be about his age. But he's done with his old man now. I didn't take this job to ruin more families. So from here, I'm calling it quits. Yeah. Uh, huh? <laughs> I call bullshit. What are you gonna do to Mikiko if you find her? Ooh, those plans are a bit above my pay grade, but I do know it won't be pretty. If I had to guess, it'd be like... torturous death? I mean, she freaking went and killed ROGs right when they were peeking! That's fucked up! So, yeah, she's got a ticket for a nice long trip to hell. It's only fair, you know? Oh, yeah? Guy! Then I'm sending my foot on a nice long trip up your ass. Uh, come on! Why'd you have to go for the face? I freaking went to a salon today, too! I got a mixer tomorrow, you know? Shirakabasa, watch June for me. Uh, okay. Damn it, why you gotta be so stubborn? Who even are you? Just an old bodyguard of hers. <laughs> huh? So, 
Which of you punks wants it first? And not half bad by the looks of it. Yeah, thanks. I've been practicing a while. Hey! You assholes got started without me! I thought I told you to wait till I got here. Shuchan! This guy's a pain in the ass! So let me take over for you. Better clear me a path, boys. Yo, it's on. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking ready. Serious? You're just drunk, dude. And you must be Kaito's son, huh? I'm the front man for Crimson Lotus. Ken Mochi is the name. Just so you know, I've never been defeated in the underground fighting circuit. You're looking at a real fucking champ. My boys are ready for you versus me. Maybe we should have sold tickets, yeah? Huh? Let's give him a good show, huh? Mm. Sorry about this, big guy. Ah! 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 
You a tough bastard. Shushan, please get a grip. Any more and you'll start barfing blood. Why don't we just call it here? Hold it right there! Enough of this shit! Just fuck off already! Here we go! Stay out of this, kid. I said, get away! He's at it again. 
Give me a freaking break. You goddamn brat. Go on. You should get out of here. Thank you. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Hold up. You got a problem with him. Then you gotta go through me. The hell? With dad or something? Then you're both gonna get a lesson together. Get me! Forget this! Uh, sorry. I know we should be going after Kenmochi. True. But you made the right call. So don't sweat. Oh. Okay. Aniki! There they are! Huh? Hey! It's that guy! I'm here to return the favor. Now die, bitches! God, what a pain in the ass. We don't have time for this. But screw it. Let's get this over with. Let's hurry and find Kenmochi! Huh? Hey! It's Kaito! Don't let him near the room! So that's where you're keeping Mikiko, huh? Get out of my way, asshole! Get me!
Guarding the junk, no holds barred! Breaking their bones, smearing each other's blood on the goddamn mat! <sighs> it's all coming back. My days chasing glory and spilling guts in the underground! Can you feel the adrenaline? Then show me what you got, Kaijo! Master, I'll make you pay with your life. are you saying? Nobody was supposed to be home. He said they were on vacation. But then, I burned them alive. Please, I can't take it. 
I don't want to hurt anymore! Kenmochi, I hope you hurt till the day you die. Sorry I'm late, Mikiko. You're safe now. <sighs> Where is she? I don't know. The window was open when I got here. Mikiko, where the hell did you go? Is she seriously going after Crimson Lotus again? Oh, not good. You know something? No, uh, no. Numbnuts here doesn't know a damn thing. He can speak for himself. Now talk. Well, it's just that Mikiko-san might be... Senda! Whatever she decides to do, we see it through to the end. That was the deal, wasn't it? You're trying to turn Mikiko into a criminal? You know detectives are supposed to protect their clients, right? We are protecting our client, by not letting you interfere with her work. You know, Igarashi, I really can't stand the sight of you. I'll just have to beat the truth out of you then. I'd like to see you try. In fact, I've been dreaming of the day I get to cave in your skull! Let's go, Kaito! run off to. <sighs> Talk! <sighs> you really think you can save Mikiko-san? The guy who left her in the dust for the Matsugane family? Fuck you. Believe me, Kaito. Her anguish runs deeper and darker than you can possibly fathom. She's fueled by a hatred too hot to be contained. That is, until she kills her target. So what do you know about Mikiko, huh? A lot, actually. Collecting June wasn't all she had us do. There was another thing she asked us to look into. Which is how we learned of suffering that'd push anybody over the edge. Tell me. I'll ask you again. Do you really think you can save Mikiko-san? You got the balls to face the misery she's going through and accept what she's become? My mind's already made up. I'm gonna save Mikiko. Don't give a rat's ass if I die trying. 
got it! Do you even know how it feels to get your ass kicked and tossed out into the freezing December cold, butt naked? I won't rest until I strip you down to your fair junk! Better be ready! Fine, have it your way. An ass whooping it is! I'm very sorry, but there's an urgent issue I must attend to. Don't play dumb with me, Kaito. I know a rat when I see one. Why are you here? Well, I guess I gotta force my way through. And I'm kinda in a hurry, so I ain't pulling punches. Come on, boys! Let's get him! Kaito, need a hand? Let's clean him up quick! Appreciate it, fellas. Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll kill you!
So, did you figure out where Mikiko-san is? Yeah. Looks like she chased Saramoto to the roof. We can't afford to get caught by them again. Let's climb up here. What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart. And it'll all make sense one day. Mom? Wait. Everything was a lie. Everything you've ever said to me was bullshit. Our marriage was bullshit. I guess you got what you wanted. Same roof with the monster who killed my family. 
My only sister! How does it feel right now? You calculate this too? Goddamn coward! Mickey, go. Don't do it. I should have ended this a whole lot sooner. Mikiko. You do that, you'll regret it. You'll be losing something precious. <laughs> when we split, I was the same as you. I only wanted revenge. It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then, I went down the path of vengeance for the boss of the Matsukane family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You gonna get yourself locked up? So, Mikiko, what's your next move? What do you mean? Well, I was wondering about your living situation. I figure it's tough staying in that house after everything. Yeah, you got that right. What am I gonna do? I haven't given it much thought yet, but... But... Yeah, so... Shirakaba-san mentioned he'd take June and me on vacation. Just the three of us. Vacation? Uh, where to? He said, anywhere in the world, anywhere at all, for as long as you like. <laughs> I'm sure he was just kidding. Oh. Okay, then. I, I don't think he was joking. That dude's a doctor. He looks pretty loaded. <laughs> Unlike Mr. X Yakuza here. Watch it, kid. Uh, Mikiko-san, why don't we head inside and watch a movie? <sighs> I read your letter. So then, what are you here to do? What am I... well... 
<sighs> Mikiko-san, wait right there, please. Okay. I've been saving something for you. Huh? Mikiko-san, will you... Hold it! What is it? Uh, well... Actually, I'm here to take Mikiko home. Take her home? Where? To your dirty little hovel of an apartment? Yeah, if that's okay with her. And my apartment's tidy as hell, as a matter of fact. I clean up every now and then. <laughs> Kaito-san, I understand what you're feeling. But this is the one thing I can't give up on, no matter what you say. I hear you. Let's talk this out. Oh, we won't be doing any talking. Huh? Then what are we doing? Settling this like the men of old. With our fists! What? Oh, come on. You trying to have a duel in this day and age? What about how Mikiko feels? This fight is for my feelings, Kaito-san. I told you from the beginning I was giving this my all, didn't I? Man... Mikiko-san will never share her heart with me. I've already accepted that. However... If I can best you, the one she sees as her hero... Then perhaps... There's a chance she'll acknowledge me. So please... Give me this, Kaito-san! When you put it that way... Fine. But don't blame me if you get hurt. You needn't worry about that. You get so beefy. After those thugs came, I vowed to do whatever it takes to get stronger. To build myself into a new person. One who would never let harm come to Mikiko-san. So these past two years, I've made the gym my second home. And on top of that, I've practiced every form of martial art available to me. What I've learned is this. With the insurmountable will to protect the ones you love, even a frail physician can rise up and become stronger than any threat that comes knocking. All right then. You made your point. Guess we're throwing down. Let's do this. Shirakawa! Come! Kaito-san!
Seems you've had enough. We squared up now? Yeah. Now it's out of my system. Thank you. <sighs> Why do men have to be so primitive? So then, where do we go from here? Uh... Didn't you say you were taking me back home? Uh... Um... Guess I did. <clears throat> uh... Yeah... Where to start? So, uh, when I said my place was clean and all, sorry, that was a big lie. Even on a good day, it's about as clean as a farmhouse, and the bathroom's moldy. Yeah? And I'm flat broke. Seriously? Being a detective doesn't always pay the bills. Pretty often, I'll be months behind rent. Sometimes I can't even afford dinner. Well, you're gonna have to fix that, aren't you? I'll try. Will you still join me? Gladly. <laughs>